Hey everyone, so in this video I want to go over a method that's used to solve uh, ordinary differential equations and it's a super common, super useful method and I hope to simplify it and make it easy to understand. So this method is called auxiliary equations and we're going to use an auxiliary equation to solve an ODE. So let's say that our ODE is in the form of some constant times the second derivative of function y times some constant b times the first derivative plus a constant times the function itself and we're going to set this equal to zero so this only works when we're solving a linear homogeneous um, second order ordinary differential equation so we can only use it for these cases but this does happen pretty frequently that you'll find in uh, your math courses that you take. So what are we going to do? Well, we know that a lot of the time, a solution that we commonly see is something e to the x, right? And we're going to suppose that we know the solution. And let's say that y is equal to e to the, instead of just x, we're going to make it a family of e to the x. So e to the some constant, we'll call it constant r times x, right? So r is a real number. I guess I should say a, b, and c are also real numbers. OK, great. So if, th if, if that is our solution, y, then let's take just take a look at the ODE that we have here, right? So we know y. That means we know y prime, we know y double prime. So y prime would be equal to, and this is just a chain rule here, r times e to the rx. I can do the same thing for the second derivative. That'll be r squared times e to the rx, right? So let's see what happens when we substitute back our we substitute what we assume our solutions are back into the differential equation because now we would only have an equation in terms of r and that's what we want to know right so let's say we now have our ODE becomes uh, this would be a times r squared e to the rx plus b times r e to the rx plus c times e to the rx, and this is equal 0, right? Great, OK. Remember, a, b, and c are knowns from our ODE. And then r is what we're trying to find, because once we have r, we can plug that back into our solution right here, y equals e times e to the rx. OK, so that's the, that's the general idea of what we're doing here, OK? So we can now just factor this out, make it a little neater. So we'll factor out e times e to the rx, and we're left with a times r squared plus b times r plus c. And this is equaling 0, right? And we can solve this, right? This is just pretty basic math. We know that the solutions will either be when e to the rx equals 0, or when a r squared plus b r plus c equals 0. And we know that there's no solutions with e to the r x, right? That never crosses the um, y equals 0. You can think of it that way. Or if you wanted to numerically solve that, take the ln of both sides. You'll find that the ln of 0 does not exist. So we can't solve that left-hand equation. But we can solve this one on the right. And how would you solve this? Well, this brings us way back to high school math, right? This is just um, simple uh, quadratic formula, right? This is r is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of this over 2a, right? So now all we have to do is solve this quadratic formula and then we take our r, we plug it back into our uh, y equals e to the rx, and there we have it. So you might be saying, well, 
Drew, what if like I can't if I find no solutions, if b squared minus four AC is less than zero? And that would actually have different solutions than if b squared minus four AC was equal to zero, and if b squared minus four AC is greater than zero, those all will provide different solutions to our differential equation. So in the next couple of videos, I'm gonna be going through each and every case, showing you what the solutions will be for those cases.